everyone and welcome to Momentum for Life TV. I'm Leela and I'm here today with Matt from Total Cairo in Clermont. Matt, you see a lot of bodies that are injured from exercise. What do you think gets people so injured from exercise? Um, I think it's a combination of a couple of things. Um, muscle imbalances, bad diet and psychological stress would be the major things that I would say cause injury. So what do you recommend as a plan for people to overcome these injuries? Um, assessment will be good. Guys like the people at Momentum for Life, they're really good at assessing and um, uh, looking at those muscle imbalances and correcting them. Other thing is making having a, your diet assessed and getting rid of all those toxins and deficiencies that you've got in your body. I believe you're either deficient or you're toxic in your diet and then making sure you deal with your stress. Stress could either be a physical, a biochemical, or a psychological thing, and psychological stress is one of the major, uh, major stresses that people have in their lives, and most people don't deal with that. Massive, massive. And what are you seeing with the trends now with trainers? Because do a lot of trainers deal with, like you're saying, psychological stress, so I'm thinking adrenal stress, too much cortisol, that sort of mm. stuff. Do a lot of trainers deal with that with their clients or are they just pushing no, them No, not them? really. Um, a lot of trainers don't even know about that. Yeah. All they believe is just hammer their clients as hard as they can and then a lot of put them put on weight because of that um, but that hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis that they actually don't take into consideration and actually know that they've got to balance the nervous system and make sure otherwise they're just going to put on weight instead of lose weight even though they, they train really hard and um, yeah doing the wrong exercise. And running is a big one hey if you're running a lot of people are running now because it's really easy and quick which I understand it's a great way to get fit because it's so accessible but what are you seeing with people running these days? Because running is such an easy thing or we perceive it as easy but um, a lot of people see it as a hazard I see it as a skill um, a lot of people need to work on their running technique because running injuries depends on what research you look at. Um, you you are between, have between a chance of 50 to 80% of getting injured. Um, so, and nobody's looked at technique. Every other sport they look at technique in uh, running they never ever look at technique. So that's why it's so important to have your technique analyzed and make sure the other thing is to, 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 to make sure that, you, that you're strong. So I believe strong is the new black. If you're not strong enough. Um, your muscles won't be able to carry your body weight, so it's really, really important to be strong enough from your feet all the way up to your head. Awesome. So, um, Matt runs some awesome running workshops every Saturday down at Balmoral Beach, and we've seen a lot of good results from people working on their techni technique with running. They're not getting as injured as much. Can you tell us a little bit about those running workshops, Matt? Okay, the running workshop um, is, a, is very technique focused. Um, there are a lot of running coaches out there, but very few guys actually focus on technique itself all the way up from foot strengthening to make sure that your stride length is good, your posture is good, your breathing properly, and um, then taking into consideration uh, cadence, leg swing, just to mention a couple. All of those can then contribute to the fact that you're less injured and you're actually running way more economically. Yeah, and what I love about Matt's workshops is that he films you, teaches you all the techniques and then films you again at the end so you can see the difference and I think that's what Matt was saying as well when you're looking for a trainer it's really good to make sure that you're assessed properly so you can see the results and they're measurable but also that it's tailored to you am I right you're able to do that in your running workshops. Yeah it's um, because the problem is with a lot of trainers out there they, they don't really tailor make a, a, a program for every person and we're all different and we all have different needs. If you can't tailor make program for every specific client that comes in, you shouldn't be in the industry. Yep. It's just one of those things you should find something else to do. Nice. Thanks for that, Matt. No worries. Thanks, guys.